So um, I went to Poland uh, last May, and um, the idea was to uh, go to Poland. And I went with uh, Natalie Hill, which is a photographer and filmmaker based in Brussels. And we were sponsored by a Vistula Cruises, which is a way to go on the Vistula River, the longest river of Poland. So they gave a free boat with a captain. So the idea was to um, hike from the high summit of uh, Poland, which is Mount Rizzi here, walk 150 kilometers across the mountains, then pack raft 50 k's, which is the red part uh, on the river, and then kayak the last 1,000 kilometers to the Baltic Sea. That's pretty easy, right? Um, so you need a lot of food with that. So I went shopping um, for the food, and you have to imagine when you're a tourist and you go and, and the cashier starts like beep, beep, beep. How many times do you have that? Well, about 22, I calculated. So it's kind of funny to 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 be there, and they have no clue with, uh, what I'm going to do with that because I I don't. <laughs> so I climbed Mount Rizzi with uh, Tomasz, a local uh, Polish adventurer, and this is the day we climbed. It's May, remember, the mountain is only 2,500 meters high. So uh, if you want to know why the Polish uh, climbers are really good on the planet, this is where they go training. And this is not even winter. So we, uh, we reached the summit in completely snowstorm, and we, uh, I was completely wet. I had no really good pants for that. But we, we made it to the summit, and we were back down at 10 uh, at night. Uh, which was completely darkness, and all the pr local press was worried uh, because Tomasz had like, uh, I don't know how many phone calls, uh, because he was no some were not really prepared. Uh, um, a week later, we reached the Vistula source. This is a label on a rock that uh, a local guide uh, showed us because it's kind of not really forbidden, but hidden uh, for tourists not to go to the Vistula uh, source because it's the longest river and most popular of, of Poland. Uh, after hiking, uh, I, I showed you the food, and I, I thought I was eating soup one night, which was quite salty. Actually, it was a kind of bouillon soup, but I ate it completely. It was like, if you know OXO, it's like having uh, 10 times that. The doctor told me, um, because my calf were really swollen, he told me, well, you, you stop your kidneys from functioning. Basically, I had a urine in my, in my legs, which is really nice for walking. Um, I so I packed raft uh, 50 kilometers on the river. We have here a few dams, kind of waterfall dams. You have 50, uh, no, 200 of them. So sometimes you go down of it. Sometimes you go out of your pack raft. You jump in the water. It's it's really fun. So the, the, the these 50 k's alone were were really fun for me. And also I sleep first time with like with no tent. Just I I use the the pack raft as a air mattress. Hello. So w when I started the kayak, you can obviously see I was not even in the water that I fell down. Um, the Polish guy said, there's an adventurer coming to, from Brussels up to here. He's going to paddle 1,000 kilometers, and he's not even completely in the water with a kayak, and he's falling. What the hell is this guy doing? Well, um, on the, my second <laughs> attempt, I, I kind of made it. So after a few uh, part of the river, we reached uh, a large uh, reservoir lake which is seven kilometers long, and I paddled about an hour and a half to, uh, to reach it. Then we moved the kayak around the, um, the dam, it was a massive dam, and then I was on a smaller river towards Auschwitz. Uh, waking up near Auschwitz was really nice because everything was frozen. My water was frozen, my tent was frozen, but I, has, I had a really nice scenery, and it, this was kind of mystical being on a river, seeing nothing and then just saying, okay, I, I have no idea about the river. There was no reconnaissance done, but I, I loved it. Uh, a few more days later, I, I reached Krakow, and then I was like surrounded with people and say, oh, I want to leave this place because there's just too many people. I, I want to feel nature. I want to see smaller villages, and uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to go to Krakow one day and really visit it. Um, in Krakow, we did a, a, a press conference because the idea was to say, hey, okay, I'm going to cross Poland from summit to sea. Okay, great, but what's the point of this? The point of this, and that's my, my motto, is that we have to save the planet by saving the water. We put a lot of plastic trash in the water, and my next expedition here is going to be about water, and please don't trash the water, that's what I'm saying. Um, opa, opa, uh, Polish style, this is how uh, Tomasz was pulling me sometimes when I was faster than the boat because they got a bit distracted by starting the aperitif at 9 in the morning. 
Um, so they, they had to catch me, say, hey, you forgot to visit that castle or something. So Tomas had one hand just left, and he kept me moving up the river because it's really hard to do with a kayak. And then, uh, yeah, he was drinking a few times a day. I don't know how many bottles they were drinking. I was on my kayak paddling. And, um, oh, I have, I have time. Nice castle, right? That's Mudlin Castle. Um, I obviously slept on some sandbars and islands uh, on my own. Um, sometimes the, the boat that was following me was a, a few kilometers away. Sometimes we slept kind of I mean, together a, f a few meters away. But it's really nice to be like just in the middle of a small island, small sandbar and sleeping there. Uh, at the end of the journey, I had um, th the time got a bit worse. I got a lots of rain the last three, four days, but I, I, I've been quite fortunate because I had like m most of the days work really, really sunny. So here, my c I was more confident in my kayak. I nearly done like 800 kilometers, so I, I could drink water from from the rain. It was quite fun. Uh, this is part of the the team that was filming me uh, sometimes. When we when we could meet and it, it was really great to work with them. It's a really good team, and um, we we kind of well. I made it to the Baltic Sea, and I knew that because when I put my hand in the water in the sea, I I licked my fingers. Oh, this is salty, so that must be the sea. And this is the team. So I want you to give perhaps at the end an applause for me, but also especially for Anya, Anna, Susanna, Lukas, Bartok, that's myself, Michael, Tomasz, Mike, and Natalie, who's also here in the room. Thank you very much, and perhaps see you alive, I hope, in a year, a year and a half. Thank you. <laughs>